I mean, I really don't have any expectations. Um, I just feel like it's so fun and inspiring to meet all the other shooting stars because I find them very inspiring and you know just to hear them talk and how they resonate when it comes to 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 the acting craft it's just uh, really amazing my goal is to still I mean to be a happy person in the, first of all and then I would like to uh, to me it doesn't really matter what country and where I am as long as it's interesting characters and interesting stories I'm especially looking for uh, the female interesting female narratives and yeah that's that's what finds me the most interesting and the the the, the human the, 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 the difficulties of, of being a human being That's a very, I have to think about how to answer this, but okay, so I think it's a, it's very good because it creates the streaming services, they create a lot of work opportunities for many filmmakers, actresses, actress, script writers, but I think that the process with the streaming services are very fast, so what actually comes out of it, it's not... But then, then again, you have some extraordinary um, TV shows. I mean, like Succession and Euphoria, White Lotus. You have really good shows. But I feel like, yeah, it could, it could be a little bit of a threat, I think. Because it's, it's, it's much more money in the streaming services. I think you're very right. I think they... You know, when everyone, when the streaming services are getting better and better, the, the, the other channels, channels, they also have to keep up with that. So I just think it's good if, if Netflix and HBO and these type of streaming services produce a good series because that makes everyone good. I mean, I don't, they don't have to necessarily do... I mean, of course, it, if, you, if you look in the commercial industry and then I mean they do these Marvel type of like you know this big movies but I guess I don't know what why they make I don't know if they do make better movies than the Europe I think I think I really what I like about European films and European shows it's it's very unique in one way it's the, the stories are very unique there's a lot of history to it um, it's political. Um, I mean, yeah, this is this is a very t tough question because I like American filmmakers as well. I like the actors in America, actually. Wow. I mean, first of all, all those women that you mentioned, they're they're amazing and very oh, cool. unique. So, Thank you so much. Okay. Um, but, uh, shit, I don't know, sorry, maybe you can't say that word. Um, I, I mean, for me, I think it, it can always be better when it comes to the female narrative. First of all, I don't think that we do as much as female leads, as much as we do male leads. And when we put a female lead, what uh, function does this character have? Is it a boring character or is it just like a... a like plot driven character or is it a the character that's driving the plot and you, you you put a female in the center and then you make like interesting male characters I think it you know <clears throat> and you know, another way to like sort of fake it is to put put the female character in, in in the in the posters but then you see the movie it's like oh she had three scenes you know so I think we can always be better when it comes to to this, to female in, in, in the films and TV shows. No, I wouldn't say that, but I, I would say that it developed when I got the role because uh, they couldn't, they had difficulties finding this character. And then Jesper Gansland, he saw me and he, he thought I was, um, he gave me the role and thought I, uh, it was a good choice, and then the work started. So when I um, came into the project, then the the role kind of changed 
with me? I don't really know. I, I think he saw me in a, in a in a film I did called Dream Vidare, maybe Dream Dream on. No, I don't know what's the English title. Um, yeah, I don't know. I took a course at Stanford University because I didn't know anything about startups and the tech industry. I did, didn't have any clue what that was. And that was when I was preparing for this role was the same time as I was preparing for Max Anger. So I had Russian lessons and I went to Stanford uh, University for, for a course there. And, and then I, I, for me it's like, you know, breaking down the script, um, write down the beats, see what type of character this is. And then I just try to prepare as much as I can. And when I come to set, I try to be free. So it's like preparing, but still not planning everything, to be flexible. Well, I, I was thinking like, when I did the show, I was like, I hope I find a startup that I can do and maybe I'll, I'll get rich or something. But um, what do I think about it? It's, it's, it entrepreneurs are it's, it's very interesting people because they really believe in their idea and they, they're, they're willing to do literally everything to, to make it. They're, they're hard workers. Well, I think it's, a, it's an interesting contrast to the, to, the, to the gangs in Sweden and what Snabakash is, is portraying. And then we have these other gangs that's in the startup industry and in the financial, economical crimin criminality. So um, I'm sure that people like Thomas get away with a lot. And they don't, they buy cocaine, they buy stuff, but the police never takes them. They always take the immigrant, uh, you know, kids and shoot, you know, it's, it's a very, very, very sadly pol pol political um, perspective of it. I think she <clears throat> digs. She's very impulsive, so she well, she's she's literally trying to survive, and she gets fooled by all these men. She's like around them. She they have they have their claws on her, and then she has her son. Um, but it feels like she's she's definitely digging her own grave. You can see, you can say, and now shooting the second season, it doesn't get any better. Well, I really don't know because that's a very difficult question. But I think, I think um, we have to discuss the uh, capitalism and in, in individualism because when the class gaps grow and poverty is, uh, you know, you can't really compare a poor kid in Sweden to maybe a poor kid in India. But the same psych psychology uh, process, psychology. The process is still the same. You don't want to be left out of the system. So I don't know what to do with that. All I know is that the class gaps are growing, especially very fast in Sweden. And it's not fair. Everybody doesn't have the same opportunities. And what you can do about I, I think maybe you can give more re resources to the, to the families. If you have, if you're like a single mother, maybe you can get more resources from from the government to, you know. I think so, but I think the plan was always to make more more seasons, um, but luckily, Snabakash became. Was it big in, in Germany? Because I have I a lot know, of. I, I don't think so. No, it wasn't. Okay, because um, but you, because you have some people. I've had some like German fans writing to me, so I guess they, they've seen it. Um, I I don't know really why it became bigger, uh, why why they made a second season. I guess they liked it and they want to do it again. I guess it's one year later, I would say. Maybe, you know, maybe. Literally nothing. 
I can say that it's the first season, but m it's like the first season, but much darker. I don't know. Right now, I know that we're we just wrapped the second season, and when it comes out, then we'll see if it if there will be a third season. <laughs>